Goal Getting Podcast, Season 2, Episode 11. Spend all that you have. Got a goal and you just can't hit it? Well, fill up here and we'll help you get it. Learn the Goal Achievement Success System here on Goal Getting Podcast and put some gas in your goals to power you to the finish line. Learn how to use gas in your goals with your guide, Tony Woodall, as he provides tips, strategies, and inspiration with quote and advice from experts to help you get the goals you set. Let's go, friends. Rev up your engines and let's take off for success. Hey, goal getters. Welcome back to the show. I am so glad you made it back to listen to us today. If this is your first time, welcome. Welcome to the show. This is a day that we're going to talk about a quote from Bernard Shaw. Bernard Shaw says, Use your health even to the point of wearing it out. That is what it's for. Spend all you have before you die. Do not outlive yourself. Spend all you have. Well, this is, isn't really a quote about health, as in how to achieve good health or living a healthy life. It's more about doing what it takes to get the goals you set. Bernard Shaw is bringing out the point that you should be doing whatever you need to do to get the job done. That includes using your health, even to the point of wearing it out. If you want to be successful at whatever you try, you should go all out. You should be willing to use every last breath you have to do what you want to do. If you're blessed with good health, well, you'll probably be able to go further than those who are not. Spend all you have before you die. Do not outlive yourself. What he's saying there is don't leave something on the table. Would you like to get to the end of the day and realize that, oh, I still had a couple of more minutes or hours to work on this and you didn't take advantage of it and doing so might have resulted in you getting the goal that you set? Well, then you're going to be disappointed. So don't leave stuff on the table. Don't wait too long because you may not have opportunity to do that. Spend all you have before you die. Just do it. Go out. Don't outlive yourself. I read a book several years ago titled Die Broke. And it was talking about how to financially die broke so that the money that you had, if you gave it away before you died, then you would not have to worry about the people that you're leaving it to having to pay death tax or inheritance tax. There are ways to give that money up to them and not have to pay, you know, those types of extra taxes that they would normally. What Bernard Shaw is saying is we should die broke of energy. We want to do all that we can do before we die to do what we want to do. We don't want to outlive ourselves. You know, so this is a great quote. You know, it reminds me, I have a speech that I do called uh, Passion. Passion has a place. And one of the places that we should have passion is in our life. And I talk about how you may have goals and dreams that you want to do. You may have things that you want to achieve or just do. You know, maybe you've always wanted to write a book, or maybe you've always wanted to travel somewhere interesting that you've never been before. Maybe you want to be something that you've never been before. You want a new career, but you just haven't gotten around to it, or you just keep putting it off for whatever reason. And one, you know, this quote from Bernard Shaw kind of brings that speech that I talk about, that one part is very important and very similar to what he's talking about here because I talk about how a few months before my daughter was getting married, she called me at six o'clock in the morning crying, just bawling. You know, that's not a call that a dad wants to get. What I got from her when she was able to talk was that Woody had died. Her friend, her best friend from college, Woody, had passed away that morning and Woody had been sick. He'd been ill and like a lot of young men didn't want to go to the doctor and put it off and Finally, he got so sick that he had to go to the doctor, and the doctor told him he had an infection in his lung that he's going to have to have surgery. So they scheduled the surgery, and Woody went to surgery and never made it off the table. Woody passed away that morning. You know, Woody was only 35 years old. He was young. He was getting ready to get married. He had passion in his life. He had passion in love. He had passion in his labor and his work. You know, he loved what he was doing, but, you know, he died early. You know, he didn't know he was going to die. And there may have been things that he could have done that he put off because, oh, I'm young. I can do that later. You know, and the point of the story and the point of the quote, I believe here, is that we don't know what's going to happen to us any time. And we really need, if we've got goals, if we've got dreams, if we've got things that we want to be or do, 
do it right now. Don't get to the point where when you die, you haven't done the things that you wanted to do. You've outlived you know, yourself and you can do that now. You really need to pay attention to that. And that's where I really think that Bernard Shaw is talking about. We don't want to outlive ourselves. We should take all the health and energy that we have and just wear ourselves out to get done the things that we want to do. And that is, you know, evident, I think, in that quote. So go out, find the what things that you want to do, the things that you've planned to do, that you've got these dreams, these goals, these visions, and do it now. Don't wait until later because there may not be a later. So use that energy, use that health that you have, do it now. And what I'd like to do is offer you a free one-hour consultation. I'm going to be giving away a one-hour consultation to the first five people that download the goal-setting worksheet from goalgettingpodcast.com this week and email me a completed goal-setting worksheet where you've defined one of your goals that you're working on this year. Just send it an email to tony at goalgettingpodcast.com. What we'll do is we'll get together over Skype, review your worksheet, work on building your goal maintenance worksheet so you can track your progress of your goals and also to help you measure and track it and see where you're going. And we'll also work on setting you up for a plan of success using the goal achievement success system. So send your completed goal setting worksheet as a PDF preferably to Tony at goalgettingpodcast.com. And again, I'm going to pick the first five that send those in to me this week, and hopefully you'll be one of those. So go out and use up your energy before you die. Don't leave something on the table. Now, I get a lot of my quotes from great books, and today our podcast is being sponsored by Audible.com. If you'd like to listen to books on audio like I do, I put together a deal with Audible to give Goal Getting Podcast listeners a free audiobook of your choice and a 30-day free trial of their services so you can try them out. Go to goalgettingbook.com, register with Audible, pick out your book that you want on audio, try out their free service for 30 days. It's an amazing thing. I love reading, or I shouldn't say reading, but listening to books on audio. I started to say books on tape going back to my old days. I used to listen to books on tape frequently, and I got books on audio and audio books, and it, it's really great. So go out and check them out. Thank you so much for listening today. I do appreciate you listening. This is Tony Woodall, your host with Goal Getting Podcast. Come back and visit with us. If you like this show, please share it with your family, your friends. Tell them they can go to iTunes at goalgettingpodcast.com forward slash iTunes. They can subscribe there on iTunes and receive episodes directly into their podcast app on iTunes. So thank you very much for listening. Go out and make today a great day.